Hey there, sign of Taurus. This is Kim here to do a reading for you. And this reading is going to be for your first part of January 2022. The Empress, the Lovers. Nice energy so far. We're going to go into tarot. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. I always ask that your spirit guides and your angels help, um, you know, guide the messages of the reading. This is some white sage we're going to burn first for protection during our reading. And we'll bless your decks. Bless these decks. All right. Okay. Taurus, what are we upset about? Or is it the perspective? Sad squirrel. Needing someone to listen to, or that will listen to you um, with the Queen of Cups energy. This is, by the way, the mystical medley tarot. All right, for Taurus, what do we have? What's the issue? What's the issue? The Page of Swords in the reverse might be regarding a child, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it definitely has to do uh, regarding with more information needed. More information needed. There's Aquarius energy, the star. This is about your hopes, your dreams, about how to cultivate the things that you're wanting in your life especially like long-term goals, you know, it's like really getting serious about thinking, how, how do I create this? How am I going to create this in real life? How am I going to create this? Or how am I going to approach a very difficult conversation? How am I going to approach it? You know, there's something that it's all intertwined with um, hope renewed and, and thinking about what you really want here. And I feel like it has to do with long-term goals, like house or marriage or something or kids, something here. What is the heart of the matter? The heart of the matter. The judgment in reverse. There could be some, um, there could be a truth that we know, that we know of, but it's still hard for us to move past. If that makes sense. There could be a truth that we have accepted. We could have maybe even forgiven a situation. There's still the energy of, okay, now we got to move through those emotions. So releasing it and purging it is something that I feel like you've got to realize that's a constant thing to do. It's not just a one time fits all. It's a constant releasing as long, you know, if you're wanting this to be a less critical environment for you to view, then less critical on you and others is what must ensue. <laughs> I'm a poet. Didn't know it. <laughs> Uh, past energy. So it could be Sagittarius energy. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Getting out of your head, freeing your mind. Getting out of your head and freeing your mind. Um, not believing everything that you see or hear. Not falling prey or victim to labels or anything that you think you're supposed to do. Just being you, doing you is exactly enough and what's what is required to have a, a really good existence here. Oh, two of Pentacles. Hmm. A choice, a change, a balancing. Um, also in order, in order to like over, overcome feelings of overwhelm. It's like, okay, we'll make sure we're balancing things. Maybe we're checks and balances. You know what I mean? Going over the finances again or something like that. Seeing where we're stashing this, where we're storing this here. What our investments are looking like. And it is juggling a lot. So the, the biggest message from Two of Pentacles is let's go one, one step at a time. Okay? Let's slow down. Changes. What is the future energy looking like, Taurus, Taurus? The Magician in the reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. There's something that you, like I said, this has to do with the way that you're wanting to live. And, and I think it has to do with your long-term goal. There is something you're wanting to manifest that you're like, oh, goodness, isn't it here yet? This is about patience, okay, Taurus? is about having patience. Yes, your um, investments will pay off. 
every single thing. It's all going towards this as your big goal. You are magical. There's an, a need to really believe in um, your good luck here because it is coming. Seven of Pentacles is, once again, I'm feeling choices, consequences, checks, and balances. There's this um, sing-saw, seesaw <laughs> balancing that I feel going on. How do you feel about something here? How do you feel? You feel like Queen of Swords. Um, you feel focused. You feel very protective over something. But you feel very focused. You're going after the truth and you're going to get it. The Queen of Swords gets the truth. She gets the truth. She cuts out what she needs to cut out in her life in order to get it. There may be something or objects, correspondences, perhaps affiliations that you may want to look over and decide, do I still resonate with this? It's like, um, yeah. Woo, woo. Why? Because, because in your environment, things are going to change. Like I said, change. Great change. And this is good, though. This is good. A change of the way that you are have been living. It's it, it's something about uh, running into luxuries and, and into getting life the way that you really like it. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is you know of course we need to use our resources well, um, but the Tower here is suggesting anything that wasn't proper or wasn't built on anything but the truth might fall down so when this truth comes you see some stuff fall down um there might be a need to let go of things that um aren't really helping in your goal like if your goal is to save up for such and such you may have to save back and cut like some i don't know tv subscriptions or something web subscriptions something like that to free up more money it might be that, but this sudden, there might be a sudden change of influx of money too, and it might be something that's difficult to handle. Um, you can't really judge any of these things as, as is it, is it going to be good or bad here? The Seven of Pentacles indicates that your work is going to pay off. Um, just because there is a shakeup around you right now, you really have, you're especially one of those signs that um, you have the ability to manage your material realm the pleasure realm like no other so i will get a clarifying card on that but let's go forward and see what's for the hopes or fears the hermit in reverse taking what you have learned and woof letting it free like a firefly like a firefly in a jar letting it free you found it you hunted for this truth you've gone through some shadowy times and um, now you're out of the cave, out of isolation, ready to integrate what you know now. And it may be a, a requirement to change how things are done, especially with, with the material realm, too. So what's the outcome looking like for Taurus? What's your outcome looking like? Knife Swords, big change. Again, big change. Five of Cups is it to me this is like regret or disappointment in something somebody either something else someone else did or what you have perceived as something that's hard to let go of clinging to the past is something that's hard to let go of but in order for this change to come in it's like we're gonna have to have a rebirth with this ten of swords we'll have to have a rebirth completely knocking something down like the phoenix is completely burning something down and then it rising again and then here you go there's the re uh, reciprocal this is that um either relationship to a job or another person that's give and take and it's equal give and take here and then I've got the three of swords in reverse with the page of pentacles. Like I said, it's another message. It's the same message. In order to receive this good change that makes everything fair and balanced and everyone has enough, um, this brand new relationship with money, it, it is even tied down to letting and harboring emotions that are heavy into your existence it may be a leo or okay aries or sagittarius but the moment you really let go and start trusting this situation you're gonna see it change and blossom like no other 
All right, so clarifying. So you have some purging, you have releasing and purging. Look, there's a six of pentacles. And in this deck, it looks to me like a very solid tower. So something that is built and it's uh, rebuilt from the bottom up and it's solid and it's stable, okay? So for Taurus, for Taurus, your focus, you're going to get what you want. You're going to win and you'll be protective on the way up. What is this, um, what is the patience needed with? What is the patience needed with? With the three of swords in the reverse, the same one. You got three of swords in the reverse, three of swords in the reverse. Patience is needed with yourself while you release heartache, loss, and, and, and that is being part of how you integrate into your physical, starting to manifest what you want. You've got to really uh, let go of that. If there's any kind of anger or anything, resentment, letting go of that will free up uh, beautiful manifestations. So what is the Queen of Swords about here? What are they going after? What's Taurus going after? <laughs> the Empress. There you go. There's that energy, that creative energy. <laughs> It's the mother-like energy. It is the um, mother to their creation or maternal relationship. Um, it may have to do with children. It has to do with success for sure because the empress touches anything she touches turns to gold. And definitely the eight of swords is you need to free your mind and it's these. The, the eight of swords are these two three of swords in a reverse. It's, it's it, what is causing this disruption at this moment. So tower energy, what, what, what? Now it could be a Scorpio or um, a Capricorn here. What's up with the tower energy? There's temperance. Okay, patience. Twice now, patience. Healing is not just a one-time thing. There's the patience. For for this this making this plan possible, making what was impossible possible, your spirit guides, your angels are helping you. While well, they're saying this has to heal, and all things like this take time. Um, making sure that we are purging and releasing constantly, and and then we'll really be healing this situation. Having to look at it with a beginner's mind. Um, if you're wanting this to change or transform. So saying it really can, just how. All right. There is a message that you might want to reconsider here. I have reconsider. And I have that blade. It, it's reminded me of Michael, of Archangel Michael. Um, and then I have forgiveness. See, that's what I'm saying. Release that. Release that. Okay. Whoa. And I uh, have get more information regarding about this, about how to release this. Get more information regarding a healing. Oh, and understand that somebody's health around you has been improving. And that might change things too. Questions. What you are thinking about is absolutely correct. It takes courage to trust yourself especially when everything points in a different direction. Hey, okay, and tea leaves, and then we'll wrap it up with the tea leaves. Here, Taurus. Okay, a lot came out. Four-leaf clover, great, good fortune. Seahorse, family matters. Look at you, Taurus, a horseshoe, good luck, and it may have to do with this gavel involvement with the law. Uh-oh. Good luck, though. Good luck. See what I'm saying? It looks good. Sending you love and light. Bye, Taurus.